everyone, this is Becky with Feathered Nest, and I'm going to show you how I organize my kitchen. I set it up in different areas, and I do label uh, the things in my kitchen, and um, I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm going to show you this little section first, um, because it's the shortest and smallest section, and then I will do a separate video on, our, on my cleanup area. Um, on this island and then my uh, second island over here is a larger one and we use that for entertaining and setting up buffets so um, I will to do uh, three other separate videos on my kitchen so this one will be an entertainment I'll take you in all the cabinets and explain why I set it up and, and everything and then I'll do my cleanup uh, uh, video here and my food preparation uh, video here so this one right here um, is a section. Um, I did do a separate video on the um, refrigerator, so um, you can view that one separately if you want to. But um, this is an area where it's kind of a little bit miscellaneous items other than your normal kitchen items. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. We have a little cabinet and kind of a little, um, you know, little nook, I guess you'd say, right here. And when my kids were younger, I would have taken this cabinet and used that as my um, medicine cabinet. When my kids were younger, I preferred having um, medicines and things like that up in the cabinet. It was easier to um, dispense to them when you have more than one child. And um, now that we're all adults, we go ahead and have our um, medicine cabinets filled in our um, own restrooms. So, um, up here now is what I put my cookbooks in. I'm going to go warn you right now, it needs a little bit of work. Um, by that, I mean this area right here. These are um, some recipes when we moved. These are all the recipes I pulled out of magazines or off websites, things like that. And I bagged them up so that when we got here, um, I would uh, go through them and decide what I wanted to keep and um, I will put them all in one binder, the ones I want to keep. But um, above here uh, are just all my cookbooks. And uh, like I said, I do label, let me find, where's my label? Um, cookbooks, so that is what's in this cabinet. And then below that, I have um, just a little area, it's for taking messages, so we call it our message center. Um, you keep your phone, a pad of paper, and, and obviously something to write with. I have a pencil sharpener here for what's in my drawer, and then um, just a, it's a decorative lamp and it kind of holds or hides cordings or cords, electrical cords. And then below that I have a drawer here and uh, it's just marked uh, message items. And I just purchased these little uh, trays that you can get most anywhere, container store, Target, Walmart, places like that. And I um, just house our ink pens, a pair of my eyeglasses. Uh, a pair of scissors, uh, regular pencils. I prefer um, the mechanical pencils myself. But in this drawer, because this uh, area kind of tends to lose things or not get um, returned, so I don't mind if these uh, disappear and um, my kids can take them, do homework, and you know, if I never see them again, it's, it's not like I've lost a good mechanical pencil. Um, but I do have to have a uh, pencil sharpener nearby, so that's why that is up there. And then this is just regular uh, printer paper, and I uh, cut it with my paper cutter in half, and it fits perfectly in this little bin. And then below that, we have temporarily stored uh, games that we play. Uh, we typically, on Friday nights, uh, have family uh, fun night, and uh, we play a game or watch a movie. So this is where our games are stored. And like I said, this is temporary, and uh, that's because when we bought the home, um, this area here uh, is to have a built-in area for the TV and other items and I will store in a cabinet below it um, our games because, uh, well, and this is a project, yes, when you, when you buy a new home you have lots of projects, so uh, that's one of our future projects there. And um, when uh, that's built, like I said, we'll store the games over there in that cabinet because this is just a little breakfast nook um, off the kitchen and uh, this is where we typically play our games. So in the meantime, temporarily, uh, the games are stored right here in this cabinet. That way they're still convenient 
to the table. And then over here is the um, microwave oven and the refrigerator. And above the oven, mo uh, typically you would put your uh, baking sheets and cookie sheets and things like that up here. I do not, and I'll go ahead and explain that here in just a minute, but let me go ahead and show you what's in it and uh, how, why I did that. Um, it's a very large cabinet. There's no shelf inside to, um, you know, take up space that uh, I need for these very large items. This is a uh, base to a three-piece crock set. This is our outdoor uh, kitchen grilling set and a bed tray that folds. And then all of these items are just other uh, large, bulky kind of trays. And then I have an oversized uh, cookie baking type sheet over here. So um, I store my uh, other baking uh, sheets and pans and things um, not in that uh, cabinet. I store them right here. And in my other video, you'll see why. It's because um, it is close to my food preparation area. When I'm making or baking things, this is a little bit closer area for me. So that's why I store them in there. And then um, I am going to uh, go ahead and cut this video short. I didn't show the refrigerator because uh, I do have a separate uh, refrigerator video that you can uh, watch if you're interested in that. And then I am going to do the uh, other three videos, the entertaining, the uh, cleanup, and my preparation area. And I'll show you why and how I set it up and what I put and store in all of the cabinets. All right, so have a good day. Bye, my friends.